Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. In the last episode, we met the new friend of the school, Maruki. Although the school only hired him to save their own PR, he did make a promise to actually help the students, officially becoming the Sentinel of Shujin Academy, and overall the nice guidance counselor that's actually taking up a good role in the school that's Kamashita definitely left open, because with Kamashita's leaving, um, we end up getting a better teacher out of it, being Maruki, which honestly is a much better teacher than Kamashita ever would have ever been, let's be completely honest. So, with that being said, our story now continues, and I believe we are now officially starting Chapter 2, because I believe, now that we're getting as close as we are, we're actually pretty much on top of it for actually starting up with the next palace, I believe. So, with that being said, let's head off to bed and get ready for today's adventure. Um, let's call it a day and go to bed. Okay, let's sleep it off. <laughs> um, Morgana in the original game would have loved this. Because <laughs> in the original gaming, he used to call um, make you go to bed almost every single day. So, honestly, <laughs> it is pretty funny. I'm so sleepy. I ended up pulling an all-nighter, once I realized today's the last day of exams. Um, you staying up studying? Eh, probably not. Eh, nah, I gave up on, ex on the exams. I was playing some games, and then, before I knew it, it was morning. Hmm, I know that feeling. You're feeling for sure how manly. Um, I know that feeling, honestly. <laughs> That's literally me every night whenever I work on a video, so honestly, I know the exact feeling. Eh, bull. You say that, but you probably just spend the whole night studying. Eh, actually, that's far from the truth and reality. Because honestly, um, I rarely have to study that hard, honestly. Um, you sh unless it's for math. Math was one of those I did. But other than that, pretty much every other class was pretty easy, because you can kind of just remember things from the school, other than actually having to study it the entirety. Um, <laughs> morning. Hey, you look like, um, look who else is yawning. Um, exams are almost over, so I thought I'd make one last effort across the finish line. Um, impressive, Lady On. You're quite different from this stupid monkey I know. <laughs> Jeez, Morgana, going a little hard there, aren't you? Um, huh? Don't give me that crap. Your brain's tiny compared to mine. Um, honestly, I, I'm gonna guess both of you have the same size brain, I'm gonna be honest. Um, size is meaningless. If there's nothing inside, you know. Um, what was that? Um, heck. Will you please shut up? You're gonna make me forget everything I mem- Uh, well, there goes her memorizing. Hmm? What's going on? Um, am I imagining things? Uh, what's wrong? Ne you need the bathroom. Um, what's wrong? Yeah, what is wrong on? Huh, what, you see a groper or something? Not like that. Um, it's nothing. Oh my god, that guy got off. Isn't this bad? <laughs> hey, at least act like you care. <sighs> Fine. Come on. Huh? <sighs> Hey, uh, are you sure it's him, or are you just that self-conscious? I'm not that- Is there something you want? <laughs> That's my line! You are the one stalking me! Stalking you? That's outrageous. I know you've been following me, ever since the train! That's because... <gasps> my goodness! 
I had wondered why you left the car, so this is where your passion led. All is well that ends well. <laughs> And there he is, the stalker from the first day of Mementos, and Madarame himself. Overall, the beginning of Chapter 2. So, let's see what's actually going on here, because it seems like there might be a little bit of a misunderstanding here. Hmm, I saw you from the car, and I couldn't help myself from chasing after you. Hmm, I didn't even notice the calls from Sensei, but thank goodness. I caught up with you. Um, okay. Um, what? Um, you're the woman I've been searching for all this time. Please, won't you? Um, wait a minute, I... Um, be my the model for my next art piece. Huh, art piece, you say? Um, model? Huh, okay, uh, that's interesting. Um, all that I've um, drawn till now has been lacking. But I feel a passion from you. Um, unlike anyone else. Hmm, okay. Um, this be entirely suspicious. Eh, but honestly, I think it's just him in general. Um, ain't this a recruit for some shady business? Um, will you cooperate with me? What do you say? Um, hold your horses. Um, who are you anyways? Yeah, who are you? Um, oh, um, where are my manners? I'm a second here. And Kosei High's fine arts division. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. Okay. Nice to meet you, Yusuke. Um, I'm Madarame Sensei's, um, Sensei's pupil. And I am um, am being allowed residence at his place. I'm striving to become an artist. Hmm, an artist, you say? Um, huh? Do you mean that Madarame? The one who was on the Good Morning Japan the other day? Um, the very same. Huh, you know, um, who that is? Um, he was introduced as a super famous, um, Japanese-style artist, who's been recognized all over the world. Hmm. Um, but we heard that name the other day in Mementos. Yeah, we did. From Nakanahara. Hmm, interesting. And that is definitely the same guy on the case file from Sainijima. Hmm, Yusuke. Um, I'm sorry, you, um, Sensei. I'll be right there. Heh, <laughs> that old guy's Monorame. Hmm, okay. Well, but at least now we have his face now, because we've never actually met him until today. Um, Monorame Sensei's exhibition will begin at the department store near the station tomorrow. I'll be there to help out on opening day. Please come by. It'd be great if you could give me your answer in regard to being a model then. Hmm, okay. Um, I bet you have no interest in the fine arts, but I'll give you tickets as well. Oh, thanks. Well, now we all have- all three of us have tickets. <laughs> Honestly, I like fine arts, so that's actually a complete lie that he thinks we wouldn't, but I don't know about Joker or, um, orig originally his name's either Ren or, um, Akira based on the manga or the anime, but honestly, I'm not sure what it comes to Joker's actual perspective on that, but I actually love fine arts, I'm actually a art student for a reason, so honestly, this is actually going to be kind of funny, because um, Yusuke is also an art um, student as well, so it's I'll be able to kind of give more insight on that kind of stuff later, I guess I could say, honestly. Um, well then, I hope to see you there tomorrow. Okay, we'll see you later, Yosuke. Heh, <laughs> that guy's as easy to read as a book. Hmm, you're not planning on going, are you? Are you? Um, I think I will. Oh, okay. You really want to go? Um, crap, look at the time. I'll see you there. Okay, we'll see you at school. Um, how dare you go after Lady On? I memorized that face of yours, Yusuke. <laughs> what are you doing, Morgana? I don't think you're ever gonna actually get a chance with On, but if you really want to try, you definitely can. But, back to the future. Back to Sainichima's interrogation room. Okay, what else do you want to know? Now you know how we actually came to know him, but what do you want to know now? Um, you became acquainted with Madarame's pupil by chance. That That's a little too convenient. It makes me wonder... 
if you're even trying telling the truth. So be it. What I want to know most is your method. My method? It's true that Madarami was an unforgivable criminal worthy of the scorn thrown at him. Um, he was an adult who cultivated his own fame and fortune by sacrificing the livelihood of his children. Um, but he'd been covering his tracks for years. How did you uncover the truth in such a short span of time? Um, in the metaverse? I don't remember. Um, in the metaverse. That is where it was. Gotta stick to a story, and that is our story. Um, this metaverse business again. Hmm. Um, fine. Let's suppose, um, that people's hearts can be changed by stealing their treasure, like you said. If so, a different suspicion arises. Um, people have gone mad or lost consciousness, never to recover, like the subway accident in April. Um, depending on how you look at it, they could be taken as a phenomenon for a sudden change of heart, too. Um, were you related to those as well? Um, I don't want to say. I don't know. Honestly, it would be an I don't know, because I think by what she's saying, she's definitely talking about the mental shutdown cases, which is completely different from what we're doing. So, I don't know. Since that's the closest answer to being a no. So, yeah, that wasn't us. Because while the subway incident happened, we were literally sitting inside the car of Sojiro, uh, Sojiro's little car there, heading out from the school. So, it literally couldn't ha even have been us. And we didn't even get our power until the couple days after that, really. Yeah, literally. Yeah, we didn't even have our power until the day after. So, yeah, we literally couldn't even have caused that. Hmm. I see. You see? Huh. Um, fine. Let's get back to the Madarame case. Keep it con con um, concise and stick to the facts. Okay, we'll stick to the facts indeed then. And finally, the exams are now finally over. Because there was still one little day of them. Well, it was basically, um, depending on how good you did the previous days. It's just like a wrap-up day to say, Hey, this is how good you did, and they'll give you extra points if you did really good. Meaning, if you have a high knowledge stat, you'll end up getting the top of the class. Or, um, depending on how low it is, you'll be getting closer and closer to the top of the class on that. That's basically how that works. Honestly, it's not that bad. But, now with that all over, now we get to continue our story. Um, <laughs> it's over. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's over. <laughs> you definitely failed. <laughs> Just because of, um, it's always the case with the best friend character when it comes to the Persona games with Junpei and Yusuke. He definitely failed as well, let's be honest. Um, how about you? Um, I'm feeling confident. Uh, confident. Um, it's over. I'm not worrying about it. I'm feeling kind of confident. Yeah, I think we're good. Huh, <laughs> you traitor. Eh, I think we just did it right. Um, anyways, can we stop, um, talking about the exams? Like it or not, they're gonna come back, um, graded next week. Um, rather than focus on stuff that's over with, um... Um, what are you looking at? Oh, the fan site. Uh, the usual site. Hm, you really like that site, don't ya? <laughs> you really need to thank Mishima if you you really seem like to like actually looking at that. Uh, it's no use. There ain't any useful info. The number of posts are getting less and less, too. Yeah, we don't have much support, so that makes sense. Um, I'm not letting this end as a one-hit wonder, okay? Okay. Um, there's no point in getting antsy, though. True. I know. Why don't we go to eat lunch somewhere? We still have some money left over from the other day. True. Um, I want sushi, then. Or a domesticated, um, raised eel. Hmm, never had eel before. I've had octopus, but I've never had eel before. That sounds kind of interesting. Um, we don't have that much left. <laughs> so it must be expensive, then. Um, oh, right. There's some, um, there are those tickets to Madarame's exhibits. Um, wait, that's tomorrow. Yep, that's tomorrow. Um, don't tell me. Was it love at first sight, um, with that Yusuke guy? Um, it's not like that. Hmm, okay. Um, um, of course not. <laughs> okay. Um, when I was watching that special on TV, 
His artwork, artwork was pretty nice, plus we've got free tickets. Besides, this could also be related to what we heard in Mementos. True. Huh, <laughs> Monorame, was it? I'm curious too. It may be a coincidence. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of curious as well. And actually, funnily enough, the TV on the um, right behind Ryuji is actually playing um, a little bit of Madarame's like art exhibit on the back. Every now and then, you'll see his face on it, like right now. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Um, hmm. Um, that aside, that should um, what should I do about the other two tickets? Want to go appreciate some fine arts for once? Yeah, of course. Huh, <laughs> fine arts, huh? It'd be cool. Um, I suggest we all sh we should all go together. Appreciate the fine arts builds character. Um, a um phantom thief who can't identify original is lame. <laughs> True. Well, if everyone's going, yeah, it definitely would work. Um, it's settled then. Huh? Should be fun. <laughs> definitely should. Um, just the phrase "going to an art exhibit" sounds kind of mature. Yeah, actually, it is. But honestly, I went to art exhibits as a little kid, too, honestly. So, honestly, it's kind of something that you just get used to after you go to your first one. Um, let's meet at the exhibit entrance tomorrow. Okay, let's definitely head there. Madarame's exhibits. Wonder what we're going to end up finding there. Because, um, out of everything, we got to find out something about Madarame. Because we do know he's our next target based on Sainijima's future antics, but... Honestly, how did we actually figure out all that is the real question, because we literally, um, are pretty much on top of the next palace, I'm pretty sure, so we only have a short amount of time to actually figure out any kind of information on him. Um, tomorrow we go to that exhibit with Lady An. I'm curious to know if this Madarame has anything to do with the name we heard in Mementos. We can't afford to be late tomorrow. We better go, um, not go out right now, okay? That's fine, and that's fair. Um, so I keep thinking about what Nako Nakano Hara said. Um, could he have been talking about the famous artist Madarame? Uh, that sounds about right. Probably not, or nice catch. Either one or either of these, honestly, but that sounds about right. Uh, seconded. Um, great. The name really stood out to me. Um, yeah, I mean, you guys ever heard of someone else to call Madarame? Honestly, that's actually true. I've that's actually the first person I've ever heard that was ever named Madarame in like real life occurrences. So, honestly, yeah, it's not very common from what I can tell. Um, it's not really. Um, it really isn't not common at all. Um, if what we heard is true, Katagua-kun is studying under a corrupt teacher. Huh? You mean a teacher who treats people like tools? Um, Katagua-kun's life is probably pretty terrible. Huh, we gotta look into this. Yeah, we definitely do. But like Morgana said, off to bed we go. Um, we're going to the exhibition tomorrow, right? Don't oversleep. Um, Ichi Yusai, Madarame, and infinite fonts of ideas. Hmm. Um, I read the blurb on the tickets, but it seems that the Madarame is actually an amazing artist. Hmm, some of his pieces might be worth looking af at after all. Hmm, okay. Well, off to sleep we go. And honestly, the art exhibit is now upon us now. And honestly, what are we going to actually find there? Good thing it's a Sunday, because we actually have Sundays off, actually, to be completely honest. What, what is this line for? Oh, the exhibition must be opening today. It's really packed. Want to come back another time? I want it, but it's so pricey. I should take out a loan. I want to see that. Let's go together sometime. Hmm, everyone's looking forward to going into Madarame's art exhibit, it seems. He seems like a really, really famous artist, then. Hmm, well, let's see what the modern Da Vinci is like. Um, so crowded. Um, it'll be a pain in the ass if someone sees you, so don't stick your head out too much, alright? Yeah, we would probably get in trouble if Morgana seen. Hmm, you came. Yeah, we came. Um, yeah. Hmm, you really came. Yeah, we did. Eh, what'd you expect when you left us those tickets? Hmm, make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. Okay. Um, come now. 
I'll show you around. I'll, I'd like to speak more about that picture I, um, I'd like to draw too. Hmm, okay. Um, well, see you guys later. I okay, we'll see you later on in Yusuke. Um, will Lady Han be alright? What if he drags her behind some painting and tries something funny? I don't think you have to worry about that, Morgana. I told you not to come out. Yeah, stay in the bag, bud. Huh, <laughs> are you, we really gonna go appreciate the fine arts? Can we just go home? Um, let's learn about Madarame. We should look around. I want to stay, honestly. Yeah, that's my honest answer, bud. Huh, <laughs> fine. We didn't come all, the, all this way, so I guess I'll look around too. <laughs> honestly, I think you'll find something cool around here. Um, which way are we supposed to start anyways? Probably just go in any way you want. Um, hmm? Oh, there he is. It's the old man from the other day. Um, we continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that all of it stems from one person. Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? Hmm, well, if it is rather difficult to put it into words. They naturally well up from within my heart, like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. Um, naturally, you say? Hmm, what's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires such as money and fame. My Auntie Lear, Auntie, uh, my Auntie Lear is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue, pursue true beauty. Hmm. Um, a shack. Um, I see. So, the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from a great artist, Madarame. Hmm, shack. Interesting word. Hmm, you would understand if you saw it. <laughs> huh, wasn't the word shack something? Um, Madarame san is actually here. Over there. I'm so glad I came on opening day. Uh-oh. Well, that's our only time of actually getting to hear him. Other than the one time we heard him in the car. Um, hey, stop pushing. Heh, <laughs> there's way too many people. Um, I'm being crushed. Um, anyways, we gotta head for the exit. Don't die on us, alright? And it looks like we got pushed out. Um, I didn't know. There were so many types of Japanese arts. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We got a cat, we got a flower, we got a mountain um, that looks like Mount Fuji, and the forest in front of it, which I believe is um, not a good forest, but I do know that Mount Fuji is pretty cool. The reason why I say not a good forest is because of the context of what the forest is, if I'm remembering correctly. I'm thinking of the, um, the death forest, if you guys are wondering. But it's, yeah, definitely some pretty cool pictures, and then we have... Um, this, like, rainbow-styled forest behind, um, Yusuke. Honestly, some pretty cool start, um, I art here, honestly. Hmm, usually one concentrates on their own style. However, Sensei creates all this by himself. He's special. Hmm. Hmm, there you are, Yusuke. Um, Sensei. Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? Um, I don't know how to put it into words. But it's really amazing. Hmm, you're sensing something from the, uh, the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. Hmm, I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Well, there goes Monorama again. Um, you'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach, but he seems really friendly. Yeah, he does. Hmm, indeed. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Um, oh, this is it. The painting. I want to see in person. Um, this one. Um, I guess it's the painter's anger. I'm not sure, but I sense this strong frustration from it. To think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a place. Um, hmm. Oh, that's a reaction. Um, something wrong? Um, don't mind me. There are better pieces than this one. Um, come now, this way. Hmm, that was a strange reaction from Yusuke. Hmm, so there's something with Madarame going on there. 
Okay, we at least got something going on. Without me, we were able to get, like, a visual, like, proof on something's going on behind the scenes. Um, hey! And there goes Yusuke as well, getting trying to get far away from that painting as possible. Hmm, wonder what the context is there, honestly. Uh, that old lady totally elbowed me. Heh, <laughs> but thanks to that, I remember now. Um, about what? Um, yeah, about what? What is... what'd you remember? Well, let me get to it. Um, it's about a post online. Hmm? Post online, you say? Here, look at this. Um, can't see it, but okay. Um, why'd you leave without me? It wasn't on purpose. We kind of got crushed, um, to the point where we had to leave. Uh, you got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd and... Eh, anyways, you gotta look at this too. This post might be about Monorame. Oh... Okay. Um, what's it say? Huh, <laughs> master of Japanese arts, plagiarized into people's work. Only his public face is shown on TV. Oh, so that might be the context on why, why Yusuke freaked out about that painting. Must be his then. Hmm. Um, plagiarizing? Huh, <laughs> I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. Hmm. His treatment of his pupils, um, will live with, um, him, who live with him is awful. He teaches them nothing, um, and bosses them around. He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Hmm. Oh, abuse on top of plagiarism, huh. Uh, if this is real, it'd be a huge scandal. Yeah, it would. Um, I wonder if Katagua kun posted this. Um, I mean, he is a pupil of his. Uh, who knows? It's anonymous and all. Well, anyone that would post that would probably not have a good time. Based on, like, you know, he's a famous artist, so he has a huge reach. But, yeah, I don't think him putting down his name and then putting down Monorame would have been a good idea. I'll be honest, whoever ended up posting that. Um, in that case, it's possible that Monorame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. Um, a man like that doing such a thing. Yeah, he does seem like a different person based on what we've seen, but based on the post, it said that he has two faces. So honestly, yeah, just like a coin. There's two faces to that that person. So honestly, we gotta figure out more about him. Um, I wonder if we can ask that Shadow from earlier about this. Oh, actually, we need to talk to him in reality. Yeah, we could. And how are we gonna do that? go on about that? Are we going to explain it all, starting with mementos? Um, besides if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Mara Madarame will find out. Hmm, maybe. Um, oh yeah, right. Um, hey. Well, um, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem kind of suspicious? He does. This post might be a fake, I don't know. He definitely does. There's definitely something going on. Based on what we saw from the third person with uh, On and Yusuke earlier with the painting, and the fact that um, the post and Naka Nahara are definitely talking about it, so there's definitely more. And then, well, third person with Sainijima, of course, as well. But there's definitely more going on. <laughs> I know, right? This all fits way too well. Just to be, just to be a coincidence. Yeah, it's too. It's, there's too many pieces fitting together. <laughs> This post is legit, and this is the kind of target we've been waiting for. True. Um, well, yeah, but... Is it really true? Uh, by the way, um, what did you do about this whole modeling thing? Um, Katagwa couldn't give me his contact info. Um, and the address to his sensei's altier. Hmm, okay. Huh, <laughs> he said he lives there. Right. Perfect timing. Let's try and go in tomorrow. We're off to Madarami's house right after school. Um, huh? You want me to model tomorrow? Um, this is too sudden. Um, what? We're just gonna go talk to Katagua. Yeah, that's the plan. Um, oh, that's what you meant. Yeah, we weren't gonna do anything yet, honestly. There's no reason to do so. Okay, and like I said, I would try and do a little bit of these coffee conversations every now and then. So, with that being said, let's continue on to the second of them. Because we got a little bit of Sojuro here, because we couldn't leave the house anyways, so honestly, might as well make some coffee before the next palace. Huh, looks like you're at it again. How's it going? 
here, I'll have a sip. Huh, this acidity. This must be Guatemalan SHB. Hmm, okay. Guatemalan SHB, the volcanic so soil of Guatemala, is ideal for growing coffee. Guatemalan beans are ranked by their altitude of cultivation. Strictly hard beans, SHB, a grade given to coffee grown at altitudes above 4,500 feet, has a citrus-like acidity and a full body. Huh, the flavor profile is bland, but you should practice more to bring out the roast full potential. Huh, although, I see you're preparing the cup the way I taught you, so I'll acknowledge your hard work. <laughs> Thanks, Sojro. <laughs> uh, you see, a lot of different customers come through when they have a cafe like this. Even if someone looks like trouble, I'll serve them the same cup of coffee I'll serve to anyone else. Hmm, that's my job. I have pride in what I do. You're like a customer too, one that takes a tremendous amount of effort though. <laughs> you have the potential, so keep training. Thanks, Sojro. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. But with that being said, I'll see you guys very shortly because I think there is a little bit of school before actually going to Matarames, and I don't think the school has anything in specific. So, with that being said, I'll see you guys very, very shortly. Okay, and like I said, with the schoolwork now done, we get to continue on with our investigation into Matarame Shack. Ah, Phantom Thieves going by train. This ain't any different from how I get home from school, you know. Um, the train is the fastest way to go. Plus, we can bring pets on here. Okay, that works out for us. Um, hey, who are you calling your pets? Uh, dude, be quiet. We don't pay for the pe um, we didn't pay the pet fare. <laughs> that would definitely not be a good thing. Um, I'm the one guiding you to your destination. You should be calling me master. Uh, not gonna happen, bud. Um, ooh, kitty. Um, er, shoot. Um, is that your pet, mister? I heard it meowing. Um, it's a stuffed animal. You're imagining things or it's just a creature. It's a stuffed animal. Yeah, it's just a stuffed animal cat. Um, yeah, it's a toy. It meows when you press on its head. Uh, you heard her spooks. Press on its head. Okay. Um, this is ridiculous. And there you go. See, it meows. Um, you? Um, wowee. Again, again. Um, I should press gently. I'll press forcefully. Time to button mesh. Well, because I don't want to um, meow like a cat, I'm gonna be honest. Let's just go with the funny answer here. Time to button mesh. <laughs> um, you. <laughs> the <bleh. laughs> That's so funny. I want to hear it again. Um, I just threw up in my mouth. Uh, seriously. Um, the next stop is Shibuya. Shibuya doors will open on the left side. Um. Oh, this is our stop. Um, well, we'll see you later. Um, bye bye See you later. We're never gonna see her again, more than likely, but okay. Um, hmm, okay, bye-bye. And there she goes. I don't know why I said see you later. <laughs> that makes no sense. We're never gonna see that girl again. We don't even have a name for that girl. Or even, I, I don't even think that's a normal, like, a, like an interesting model either. I think that's like a model you can see pretty normally. So, I don't know why Aunt said that. So, which line do we gotta transfer to? Um, doesn't look like there are any stations close to that address. If anything, this is the closest station. Hmm. Um, once? Then we gotta walk the rest of the way. Huh. What kind of phantom thief takes the train and then walks to their destination? Um, stop your complaining. Um, it's supposedly a shack, but this is the neighborhood he lives in, as expected of a famous artist. Um, looks like the fastest, fastest route is to get to the station square, and then go to the central streets. Let's move. Okay. So, central street, I believe it's this way, is how you get to central street. So, we just go this way, to the station square, which is where we normally meet out, meet up with Yoshida. And then we just go this way from here. Okay, let's go straight towards the uh, main central street. Eh, uh, sure it's this way. I don't remember seeing a house. Um, it's supposed to be a residential area, past Central Street. We'll have it to walk a bit, though. Um, okay, let's get going. Okay, let's head on out. And it looks like we got a complete on, um, like, shift change on everything. SIU director again. Hmm, Suguru Kamashida, former Olympian, teacher at Shujin Academy. Reasons for turning himself in is 
A heavy conscience. Hmm. Heavy conscience. The human mind doesn't change that easily, let alone the natural temperament. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Shujin Academy seems doubtful. Hmm. Perhaps I'll have to let someone look into it, just in case. Oh, so that must be the guy that contacted um, Kobayakawa then. So wouldn't that be... Yeah, wouldn't that be a flashback then? Because Kobayakawa was already called when Makoto um, was first tasked with finding the Phantom Thieves. Huh, okay. That might not even be the same day. I think that's from another day, like back in the past. I think. I don't know, honestly. Huh. Zenit. Um, right at the right address. Um, the door plate says, does say Matarame. Um, uh, you ring the bell. Um, me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? Um, no one sneezes, or I will blow down this house down, okay? <laughs> what is this, the three little pigs? <laughs> Instead, we're the three wolves and he's the piggy. Hmm, who is it? Um, Sensei is currently... Um, it's the comic key. Um, I'll be right out. Um, people really do live here. Yep, they do. It's a big old rusted shack. Um, to comic son. Oh, you two are here as well. Yep. Um, hey. Sorry, but, um, we ain't here to talk about that modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask ya. Um, is it true Madarame's plagiarizing and stuff? He is abusing people too, yeah. Kind of... Going right on out there, are you? Um, are you serious? Uh, we read about it online. Well, is he? Um, this. Because <laughs> he's laughing, might as well add that. Because <laughs> I don't think it's going to be added to the line. Yep, I was right. Ah, oh, preposterous. Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse. Huh. He welcomes pupils into his own home. This is no act of violence, it is charity. Hmm. And I'm the one residing here, and studying under him. I'm saying it is not true, so it's beyond doubt. Uh, you might be lying about it. Um, that... That is utter rubbish. Hmm. Your emotions there seemed like it checked out, though. Uh, I had no family when Sensei took me in. And raise me to what you see now. Um, if you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day. Um, you really think that? Um, Yusuke. Um, what's the matter? I heard you yelling. Um, these people are slandering you with baseless rumors. Hmm, forgive them, Yusuke. Ah, they must have heard some bad rumors, and came in to worry for their friend's safety. Um, understood, Sensei. Well, even, um, I doubt that cr a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. Um, that's not what we meant. Um, I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have the neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Now, if you'll excuse me. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it seems like a completely different guy from face value. Um, that was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. Hmm. Well, at least it's not like a full-on fight anymore. Um, I, I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. Painting? It's his maiden work as well as the most representative piece. It is called, titled, Sayuri. Sayuri? Huh, interesting painting. Um, Sayuri? Um, this was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. Hmm, it's cool. Um, it's so beautiful. Uh, I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell this is pretty impressive. Um, when I first saw you, I feel the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Um, me? Hmm, I wish to pursue beauty like this. And I believe drawing you will be part of this pursuit. I implore you, seriously, consider my offer. 
I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that you will, that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. Okay. Well, yeah, you see, they both seem like pretty normal people. Huh. Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? Um, maybe this Madarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Oh, man. Right when we thought we found a new target, too. Um, how's the MetaNav? Yeah, how is it? Oh. Uh-oh. It went off. That means... Yep. Seems like we got a hit. Um, hey, the app. Um, was it picking up on our conversation? Um, this display. It means that Madarame has a palace, too, right? Um, but why? Um, Madarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq. Huh. These seem to be the keywords. Huh. So now we just need one more. Because you need four to fill out a name of a place. So, plagiarism, Madarame, and Shaq. Now we just need to find what he thinks of the Shaq. In reality. Eh, for real though. What the hell is going on? Hmm. Does an old man like him really have a palace? Um, we have the person's name and the location. All that we have left is what the Madarami's mistakes to Shaq for, um, to enter his palace. Um, you mean, like how Kamashita thought the school was his castle? True. Um, that's right. Let's try so saying some things. They can be random guesses. Huh, it's a bit too sudden though. Um, why don't we start with castle? I don't think it's gonna be a repeat. Huh, then what about prison? Hey, that's my pal- my pal- uh, my castle. <laughs> or palace, <laughs> when you think of the Velvet Room. Uh, what a pain. <laughs> Jail, warehouse, guidance council and office, might as well add farm. Hmm. Interesting choices. Not a single hit. Um, should we come back another time? Um, a building that's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? An art school, an art supply store, or a museum? Well... This wouldn't really be a distortion of the place if we thought of it as an art school. school, Because it's going to be a complete distortion of what it actually is in reality. So both of these would totally be like just kind of just referencing the building. So honestly, the only real distortion here of an entire shack like this would be a museum. So let's go with the, heart, the biggest distortion. Huh, begin a navigation. Whoa, really? And here we go. So instead of a shack, it's really a museum inside his cognition. So let's go check out what his palace truly looks like. And there it is. Um, hey, when did you activate the nav? You surprised me. Huh, <laughs> didn't have much of a choice, I think. We just have to get it right. Um, what if I hadn't noticed, and then wandered off and got caught by an enemy? Huh, <laughs> probably would have figured it out once you started walking on two legs. Um, heh. Um, so even when you slip, um, you can slip into the metaverse without realizing it, Morgana? Um, yes, in a place with, um, minimal cognition, cognitive distortion, the differences can be subtle. Uh, it's not that subtle. Uh, forget that. Look. Yeah, it's not very subtle. I don't know how you didn't notice this one. Uh, the shag is seriously some kind of museum. Yeah, it is. Um, let's go check it out. Yeah, we gotta definitely check this place out. Definitely an interesting place. And, wow, what a line, too. Definitely a museum, but it doesn't seem open at the moment, if the line's that big. Um, so it, it's so extravagant, to the point that it's gaudy. Huh, it's a museum, right? And this is Monorame's. Um, well, a place, palace is a world formed by a mind twisted by desire, remember? Kamashita's Castle. Um, Madarami's artwork is on display at museums in reality, too, though. Um, his exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? Yeah, why? Eh, you got a point. It ain't related to the plagiarism or abuse, either. Hmm, honestly, too early to say that, because we gotta head inside before we can make an answer like that. Um, let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Uh, right. Um, that aside, 
Ain't a museum a must for for Phantom Thieves? <laughs> yeah, definitely. And probably traps too was his other answer. Um, now that's our jo Joker, I feel the same. Huh, <laughs> but man, just look at this insane crowd. Yeah, it's huge. But, due to the fact that, um, I kinda wanna make this part its own episode, because of the fact that there's still a little bit more until we actually do a real on infiltration, because I'm pretty sure not this infiltration, because I know for sure this doesn't lead into a full-on infiltration. We only go, like, the first, like, two doors, I believe. But we're still not officially in the next palace yet. This is, like, our first going into the palace, but I do think we still got a bit until we actually do go into the first palace. Because, um, well, technically, the um, first real infiltrate. Well, let me explain it, because... I need to put down the controller in order to really explain it, but this palace is going to be a multi-day palace. So not all palaces are like this. Some day, some palaces you can go through the entire palace in one in-game day, but this is one of those palaces that you have to leave in order to continue your um, infiltration in reality, because there's like certain palaces that have that um, aspect to them, and this happens to be one of them. But the first infiltration obviously isn't going to go too far into it, just like Kamashita's palace um, before it with the double um, infiltration days, but we only have to do one of those, I believe, this time around. But definitely um, when it comes to actually doing the palace, there's multiple times that we have to... I think, I think it's once, actually. There's one time we're going to actually have to leave the palace, and then we come back in another day. But honestly, other than that... Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say there, but the reason why is I want to end today's episode right before going in, because I feel like, um, the stuff afterwards would definitely be enough to fit into an episode before we go into the real first, um, infiltration, is what I'm trying to say. So, we'll finish off with what, what Morgana's saying here, and then we'll end off today's episode. Um, well then, it's time we begin our infiltration. Hank, like, are we gonna have to do, um, have to wait in a gigantic line? Um, don't be stupid. We're not going in the front door. Um, but there's a high wall around the building. Um, we'll just have to find our way, um, way up. Um, and over it then. In any case, let's get going. Okay. And with that being said, this is where we're gonna be ending off today's episode. And the reason for that is, like I said, we still got quite a bit until the actual full-on infiltration. So, with that being said, thank you all for watching, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Keep being spooky, and peace out. Hey boys and girls, thank you all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out guys.